Okay guys, this is take two of this video. Somebody kept calling me right in the middle of the other one I was making, so. So I've, here lately I've been had a lot of people talking bad about Cat C7s and buses. And a lot of them don't know the difference between the older C7s and the newer C7s. They said the C7s that has Acer are the ones that are terrible. No, that is actually very incorrect. So I'm gonna go over the differences well, not really the differences, but these are the good cats that are in the older buses. Right here, I have a first generation Bluebird Vision. This, this is a 2005 model. Um, it does not have an emission system on it. Now, cat emissions sucked. So, this is a regular uh, Cat C7 Acer with a Huey fuel system. Now, what Huey means is hydro electronic unit injector which means it is pulsed by electronic but high pressure oil is actually what fuels the cylinder you have a this is your huey pump this whole big thing right here is your huey pump it has a little fuel transfer pump right here that just drives off the engine and it transfers fuel from the tank to the fuel system back through the filter it gets up to about 40 psi 40 45 psi i think you can get up to a maximum of like 70 and your huey pump and this line right here takes oil from the oil pan and pressurizes it i think you can get up to about 4,000 psi and puts it into the high pressure oil rail and that is what and the high pressure oil is what pushes, is that what really pushes down the plunger that injects fuel into the cylinder. And then after that, after it's injected, the injector sprays the oil back out and it drains back down to the, to the oil sump. These pumps go bad. They get metal shavings put in them. Any debris from the oil, I mean, it comes your oil comes straight from the oil pan. So your oil needs to stay clean. Oh, these pumps will go out. These pumps cost about $2,500. I wanna say that's the last one I put on one of these was about $2,500. I will check on that in a little bit. But these pumps are expensive. Keep the oil clean on these. A lot of school teachers said they were having problems on them, but they were only changing the oil maybe once a year. And they were, these buses were running every day. They was getting like 10, 15,000 miles on them in a year and they were running on the same oil. Need to keep the oil clean. A good oil, good oil filter. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and step the filters for a second. Caterpillars do not like aftermarket anything. I'm not gonna lie to you, they will chew it up and spit it out. Caterpillars do not like aftermarket. I've had issues with aftermarket fuel filters, like this one has a CarQuest filter on it. I mean, it works, but it just, I've had issues where some will run a CarQuest filter, some will act up if it's not, if it doesn't have a cat filter on it. Um, same thing for a cat oil filter. These engines are really particular um this is not a bad c7 now the newer ones the newer c7s are common rail and it would have a over there where the high pressure oil rail is it would actually have a, a high pressure oil it'll have high pressure fuel rail there and a high pressure fuel pump and the oil does not get pressurized so the oil doesn't have to be as clean um, then over here on this side, on the newer one, would be what you call an art head. And those are the ones that really have the issues. If you have a first generation Bluebird Vision, they never did come with what you call a C7S. But these are not the bad ones. Um, I'm just really trying to think of more stuff off the top of my head. I mean, simple injector swaps. And if you if you change the injectors, don't be cheap and 
just change one or two injectors that are bad, put a six pack of injectors in it and be done. And you really won't have any issues with these engines. This one, I mean, this bus was here. I know now I work at the Burroughs, at Burroughs Companies, which is the Bluebird dealership for the state of Mississippi. This bus has been here since the day it was built, owned by the same school district. And then when the school district sold it, the uh, county bought it. And they were started using it for a community service bus. It's been here this entire life, always had its services and all its service work done here. This bus has not had any issues. And there are several of them running around here that haven't had any issues with engine wise. These are not the bad ones because they kept their maintenance up. They used quality oil. Most of the time, quality filters. The only reason why there's a CarQuest filter on this bus now, I just did a service on it, is because we were out of the cat filters and they needed the bus. So we put a CarQuest filter on it. It'll work until we put another cat filter on it. But everything on this engine is original. Nothing else on it has been changed. And this bus has well over 200,000 miles on it. On the same engine. So these are not bad. Now, this is gonna be video one of my Caterpillar series. Um, the next series, ooh, great time. The next series, the next video in this series, I will be discussing the C7S engine, which is the emissions engine. And it'll be showing you the differences between the regular Cat C7 and the C7S, which is found in the second gen Bluebird Vision all the way up until 2000. And it was anywhere from 2007 to 2010. So the next video will be discussing that and the common rail fuel system and just a little basic stuff about it. I'm not a professional on cats by any means, but they are decent engines and one of my favorite engines. And I've not had any trouble with it. Even when I was working over at Wayne County School District, we never had any issues with our 2005s we had four of them and they were all and they were all cat c7s rated at 210 horsepower and we never had any issues with them but this is the first video in the series if there's anything y'all want me to get on here and talk about because with this coronavirus and everything's going around i've had a lot of free time at work so whenever i have buses in here if there's something y'all want to want me to talk about or want me to make a video about just leave it in the comment below and yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one.